Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Left 4 Dead 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loaded screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you are having this kind of issue, you just need to follow all these kind of instructions that's going to help you guys out. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart on your PC or system. For this we just need to go over here on this icon, click on this one and go for a restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about we need to try with verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here go to install it files and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So as you can see the game is around 13.93 GB. So just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are uh, you know uh, missing these two reasons can cause the issues like crashing and all those things. So it is quite important for us or ourselves to make sure that these are not a reason so you have to cross check every single file over here like this and the verify integrity of game file is actually an important step which is going to fix a lot of these kind of issues. So you just need to wait this to reach 100% once this reach 100% you have to try launching the game and most probably the issue regarding this has to be fixed by this particular step and this is about how to fix the uh, you know how we can most probably help you guys to fix this up so just wait this to reach 100% so this will be cross checking every single files of the game which is very important one and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing we will be getting a message over here like it will be saying you know uh, this particular uh, file is having this particular issue so we can fix this up so Let's just wait this to reach 100% and you'll be getting the play button over here in the green once again. So just click on the play button and try launch the game. Next one, apart from this is we can also try launch the game from uh, not only from the Steam. So right now you can see there are 15 and 181 files which successfully validated which means you're good to go. So just close this and just move to the next step. Next step is we have to launch the game from the installation folder. Instead of launching the game from Steam, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to click over here, right click and go to the properties, go to install it file and just click on the browse. So that redire redirects you as to this particular folder. And if you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, left for dead 2. So this is the application so we have to go over here this is the application instead of launching the game from steam launch the game from installation folder and it worked for many users so you can try this out as well so parallelly i'm going to show you two more steps it's in the same installation folder so which can be uh, shown from here itself so the next step is all about we have to run the game as an administrator for this we just need to right click over here go to the show more options and go to the properties go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok so once you run the game as an administrator it worked for many games in my knowledge for example games like call of duty modern warfare and uh, spider-man morales even for the dead space it worked so you can just run the game as an administrator and it worked for many users so you can do the same next one we can also try launch the game in the compatibility mode so just right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties compatibility now from here under the compatibility mode we have to click this one run this program in compatibility mode we have two options either we can go for windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok another one is we can also try with windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok you can try with two steps any one of the thing has to be worked either windows 7 or windows 8 might be working out so you can just set this up and once you set this up you can just close this and go back and try launch the game Next one is all about we have to make sure the date, time and time zone should be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here we have to go to time and language. Now from here go to date and time. So make sure the time and time zone should be correct. So most probably people end up in turning this off which is causing the issue. So you have to turn this on. Make sure this is turned on along with this. And also go back, go to the language and region. 
from here you have to select the respective geography of a country so if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from uk you have to select uk if you're from any other countries like japan or russia you have to select the respective one the geography should be correct and once you set this up you just need to close this and now go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to try with the next one that is we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button but the moment you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and it worked for many or many users in my knowledge so you can try with this step as well you can try the leg so just press alt and tab from the keyboard when you're hitting on the play button and that's going to help you guys out next one is nothing but we have to go for the next one that we have to delete the saved game file so when you're trying to play these kind of games and when you're saving each games if you go back to the file explorer over here in this pc go to documents now from here you'll be able to see the folder named this particular game name so if you find the folder like rockstar games you'll be able to find the folder of uh, you know uh, this particular one so if you find the folder you have to delete the game so you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it once you delete it you just need to close this and go back and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so you might be connected with multiple monitors maybe or uh, joysticks mouse and any other peripherals might be connected to the usb port so you have to remove everything from the usb port you have to remove everything from the usb port once you remove everything from the usb port then you just need to uh, launch the game once the game successfully launched just connect it back and try because for many users this did work it so uh, you can try with that as well you can try in that way also next one is nothing but we have to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel search for control panel now go for uh, uh, system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to check over here you have to cross check for the game so left for dead so it has to start with l so you have to hence it's an alphabet keep scrolling down to and navigate to l so left for dead 2 is actually added you can see both the private and public is being turned on so you have to turn this uh, it's been marked up like means it's checked so imagine the game is not here then how we can add it manually we can add it manually for this just click on the change settings now go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk program file x86 navigate to steam folder go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to keep scrolling down left for dead 2 now we have to select this one and go for open and we have to go for add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added so i have to add it by default if it's not there this is the, that's what i shown you right now once you add the game just go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration now from here go to services go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all it is actually grayed out for me this will not be the case for you guys just go for apply and go for ok sometimes it might ask you for restart if a restart is asking you can just go for restart once restart is successfully done just try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to uh, do is we have to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties now from here we have to make sure that enabled steam overlay should be turned off if it is turned on you have to turn this off once you turn this off you just need to launch the game if that is not working you have to go over here in the launch option you have to give the first command that is dx11 is the first command give this particular command dx11 not in ca uh, capital it should be small try with dx11 now launch the game if dx11 is not working change to dx12 and try launch the game and any one of the thing will be working fine for you so this did work it for many uses so you can try this out as well next one apart from this is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search we need to go over here in the graphics settings and as you can see you are able to see all the games i have added we have to add the game in the same way just click on the browse go to this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go for left for dead 2 now from here we have to select this and go for add 
so once it's already added so right now as you can see i think it is already added so if the game is already added you have to click on the game even after adding you have to do the same just click on the game click on the option so this would be let windows decide so you have to change this to high performance that means your nvidia geoforce rtx will be used in the background which is causing less chances for the crashing so save this close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to close unnecessary task in the task manager for this we just need to go over here in the start right click and go to the task manager right now as you can see there are many apps running in the background there are around 41 apps running in the background which is many of these are causing these kind of crashing issue so you have to find the unwanted things from here and you have to delete it for example uh, for example i have to say discord is one of the main reason and as well as reward tuner msi afterburner all these comes under this particular issue so you have to delete everything from here you have to remove it i mean you have to end the task like this select it and end the task remove unwanted things once after they just close this go back and try launching the game next one we have to increase virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go to advanced go for settings go to advanced once again go for change go for custom size set the value initial size it should be 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so just go over here in the calculator so 32 gb is the ram of my particular system so i have to type 32 gb so you have to type what is your ram multiply it with a constant value 1024 that brings you this multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 14 and 1152 so you have to paste it we have to move to once again 32 gb into 1024 that brings you into 3 that brings you 98304 so just copy this paste it and once the value is set you have to close everything go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd official nvidia users have to come over here you have to select the product type you have to product series has to be selected and you have to select the respective further things like the product if you have to select 4080, 4090 you have to select according to your PC select Windows 11 if you're on Windows 11 if you're on Windows 10 go for Windows 11 go for start search when you go for start search you'll be getting the latest released versions of the graphics card so from here you have to download the respective one so you'll be able to find the details like this if you check you can see 536.67 is the latest released version so it is on July 18, 2023. So you have to download this, install and restart the PC. If you're on the AMD, you have to do the same. Go to the graphics, select this one, go over here as well. Now go to the submit. And if you go to the submit, you can see this. We'll be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory. And even after trying with this, I would like to add as a bonus tip, that for many users it work it that is we have to install microsoft visual c++ so i'll be providing links so just download this if your system is x64 based one just download this one restart and uh, you have to play the game most probably this will be helping guys out even after trying with this old things if still it's not working just need to go over here in the search go to settings go to windows update make sure you are up to date to the latest version of windows because for running these kind of games we should be windows should be up to date so just update it and last and the least one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game for this just go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing back on the same local disk from where you are uninstalled already so just try changing the position of local disk so these are the possible workaround which you have to try out when you're having an issue with left for dead. Two is having an issue and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.